All right, so it's time for our On Shuffle album. For this episode, I have chosen none other than A Fever You Can't Sweat Out by Panic at the Disco. This record came out right around the same time that Paramore's All We Know Is Falling, our, our debut album, came out. And this band changed everything. It really did. And I will be very honest with you. As a teenager, I was like, well, damn, like, what do we have to do to, like, get people to notice us the way that Panic at the Disco is getting people to notice them? We were both very young. I feel like our two bands were the youngest bands in the scene at the time. And it was insane what happened because Pete Wentz wore a Panic at the Disco shirt on television for an interview that they did with like Carson Daly or someone on MTV. And that was it. Off to the races, man. You couldn't go anywhere without hearing Panic at the Disco. You couldn't go anywhere without seeing their videos. Remember like being at the mall in like a shoe store, like Journeys or something, and they've always got those TVs that play music videos. Like this was the music video on a loop for a thousand years. Panic at the Disco, A Fever You Can't Sweat Out. Any song, pick any song and it was massive. So we really couldn't do an on shuffle record that wasn't a fever you can't sweat out. We really had to go to this one. So let's see what we get. Let's shuffle. Oh, yes. Okay, this is actually my favorite song off of this album. This is called Nails for Breakfast, Tax for Snacks. Okay, so we've got London Beckoned. That's an abbreviation for the full title, which is so long, but I'll give it a shot. London Beckoned songs about money written by machines. Panic at the Disco have some of the longest song titles. This to me is the epitome of the MySpace era of emo. Like super long titles, long away messages on your AOL Instant Messenger. Panic at the Disco had a lot to say. This was a time where lyricist and emo were like, I can't fit all this into 140 characters, so you're going to get all of my thoughts about it. We have too much to say, and we will not edit ourselves. (laughs) But it's better if you do. Are you cheering? Are you clapping? Are you happy? I think this is a great song to end our On Shuffle programming for this episode because I feel like I'm in an old cabaret hearing this live. And the line, praying for love in a lap dance, is that's peak panic at the disco. I feel like that that epitomizes the album to me. <laughs> because there's so much, there's so much silly humor on this record and sarcasm. And again, there's just so many references to, I mean, I guess what I imagine it would be like growing up in a town like Vegas 